uh, uh, in Kusnir. You guys have just translated the message, which I'm not sure if you read the message of the day, but I'll give that a quick going over for you. Uh, session two, December 2nd, 2021. The session one recap. Uh, if you look up in the top right hand corner, you'll see the calendar, which is um, right below the combat tracker. If you click on that, each, uh, we're in the month of cold even, so that's up near the top. Um, you have the, the little days in the corner, and if you click on each day and hit view log entry, I've got a little running journal in there as well. So the message of the day is just going to be basically uh, a shortened version of those little log entries. So on the start day, the 15th of cold even, uh, into the Berghof, uh, the caravan is beset by a ragged group of gnolls on the road of, from Chiswell to Kusnir. Denver sustains a dire injury, but the heroes slay the brutes while another force was driven back to the woods. The caravan makes it to Kuznir by nightfall and are greeted by the villagers and Papa Kirst, the village elder. Uh, catching up with Kirst, they learn of what sounds like a mad skulk terrorizing the town and set about devising a way to help. They learn that, the young, that a young man rode off to Cairn's hermitage to gain the assistance of a sage and never returned. They also learn that the town hired a sorceress and a witch named Lavinia and her half-orc sons to assist them in seeking the sage and the missing youth and in slaying the Hulk but it appears that they simply absconded with the reward. Sunday, 16th of cold even, 591 CI. A message scrawled in blood on the stockyard wall is translated by the team that read, Danger, forces of evil gather. Come to me. Free the power to combat evil. Hasten or witness, witness dire destruction. I await the coming of a bearer. I am the sentinel. Evil grow strong. Help me overcome. Danger. And it's at that point we'll pick it up. We've got uh, Lambert's got scrolled out on a piece of paper. His translations from the magical tongue. While Old Salt is drinking his infusion. And he's looking into the magical spectrum. And he's reading the words that Lambert has written down. Then there's the odd misspelling. But there's some, um, they're going back and forth on what this could, word could be, what that word could be. And they're writing it down as they go. And they come up with the actual translation or what they believe is the translation. <clears throat> hmm. Does Kuzni have a, probably not a place where they keep old records like a church in a church? Because I doubt they have a library. This backward ass place. There is a place, uh, it's not quite like that, but Papa Kirst explains that on the north side of town, there's um, a sundry shop. Um, the gentleman specializes in esoterica. His name is um, Corso West Key. Uh, the shop is called the Duke's Attic, and they keep a lot of strange items there, and they may have some old town records. It's not the Church of All Faith, so... Da, 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 I see the stock here. Da, 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 da. It is right here. I'll make it... Um, I'll share the link. It's up at the top. Uh, the Kusnir map. So do we want to hunt down a sorceress and her asshole sons? Or do we want... On this, or do we want to go through old-ass records? And you also know for a fact that Corso is the uh, middle-aged bachelor brother of Warley, who is the keeper of the Lakeside Inn. Who was the guy that was missing that they had sent out? Horvat. Uh, the young man named Horvat. I uh, just turned 19 years old. He fancied himself a hero. He, uh, he rode off on the Eastern Road. He was bound for... Cairn's uh, Hermitage. So the route that he was going to take was he was going to ride the road until he got to the Lewin Bridge 
and then he was going to turn right and take the footpath along the Lewin River uh, toward K. Aaron's heritage, Hermitage, which is um, somewhere between the Lewin Bridge and the lake on the Berghoff map. So somewhere, yeah, somewhere around there. Um, it's on the actually, it's on actually the Kuznir side of the lake. So somewhere in this general area here. <clears throat> That's where he was bound for. Well, if we uh, if we're supposed to find him alive, we'd probably best look for him sooner rather than later. That is, unless they don't mind what condition we return him in. <laughs> uh, it's been three weeks. If he's dead, he's dead. If he's alive, he's captured and enslaved. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That's quite possible. But yes, standing around here talking about it isn't going to do us any good. Uh, Not politicians. Uh, I'm, I'm going back to the lakeside inn. I'm going to finish my oatmeal. You let me know if we're going to hit the road anytime soon. I'll see if I can gather Tamiya. She was sleeping late this morning. I think she had something, said something about loose bowels. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> I don't want to know what it reminds you of. My is <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> I just need to get some saltine stuff in your mouth so you can't speak anything. <laughs> I'll tell you that they're secret biscuits. Get away from me with that. Okay. Denver. So at this point in time, Papa Curse has also come by and administer a couple potions to Denver to get him back up to his current hit point level. Thank you. Thank you, Curse. Very kind of you. Well, it was uh, kind of you all to come. This was uh, quite a journey that you made. I was, uh, I'm still in, in shock that you're here. Good shock, but uh, shock nonetheless. Never in my wildest dreams that I think I would see you all again. Well, you have some pretty damn tame dreams. I suppose. Okay. I'm certain of our meeting as well. I understand your 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 reticence to believe it would happen. Ah, we should we should perhaps hit the road. Do you uh, require some supplies? I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure our town has a great deal of resources, but we can pack some food and maybe cobble together a tent for you or something like that. Well, that would be uh, mighty useful, whatever you can spare. We could use our right. share of rations and water and perhaps a wine skin or two. Right, Bill? <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps a mule to, to port it for you? I'll see what I can do. I'll, uh, I'll talk to Elia. We require a dog and a pony. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got old Bill. We'll do just fine. It takes him about a half an hour, and he puts together. Um, he's got a, a mule with uh, the tent, um, six blankets, a spade in case you need it, um, ten days of rations, which is about two days each. So, uh, what again is this old witch up to? Why are we concerned about her? How oh, we're because not. Really, She's a but thug. Uh, and she took their money. They ain't doing the job. Well, aside from that, then it seems like this Karen is the place to go. We were hoping to uh, to get his insight into solving the the problem of the messages, but it oh, seems we already like know what the message is. We've already done that, so. Message but yes, is, it, it, they were bound for there, so if you. To look, the main problem, of course, is the skulk. But sitting around here and hoping we're going to catch it won't. Uh, has it worked for over a year now? So, where do they think the skulk is? They don't know. The skulk leaves no trace. 
when it comes and goes. There's well, no path. From what I recall, those are mostly subterranean creatures. Uh, Underdark types. Most days, it, or most, uh, most encounters have been with it during the middle of the night. But there have been several instances during the day when it's come into town. Killed and skulked off. Is there anything nearby here, like old, uh, I don't know, old underground uh, dwellings or uh, caves of some sort? Lambert will point to the mountains off in the dis distance. I'm pretty sure there are. <laughs> well, something yeah. closer. I uh, way, hiking yeah. all the way from there. Yeah, way up, let it keep way. There's an old set of ruins, but nothing like, nothing remote. Remotely close to here. What do we know about skulks? Is that knowledge local? Did we roll on them already? I think we did. I think we did, yeah. And I give you, um, I think that they're basically cowardly and they can um, have community like powers. They're hard to they're hard to trace. They don't leave tracks. Okay. We didn't get into the whole Underdark history and stuff like that. I don't believe. Well, I've read up about the Underdark quite extensively. Uh, it's been a while, though. Most of that knowledge has been forgotten, if you will. Hmm. Would it be faster to go via a boat or through the woods? Uh, Bill doesn't do boats. The woods are treacherous. I don't advise going through the woods. I mean, you can. Um, well, we you live can in the woods. You could probably find a clear path for about three or four miles. And then beyond that, it's generally trackless. Well, and well I assume we'd go through the uh, da -da -da road to the bridge and then go via the woods. That's or the only... Take the lake and go up the river. The, uh, the road through the woods is the only clear, reliable track. Once you get into the woods themselves, there's some pretty dense ravines, drop-offs. You could spend two or three hours navigating 200 feet if you get in the wrong spot. The road, uh, you could probably get to the bridge by nightfall, um, get to the river. There's the ruins of an old inn that burned down several years back that people used to camp there, but well, it's, a known, it's a known place of banditry. I don't know not, if they'd atta attack a group such as yours as well armed. They mostly, mostly looking to rob unequipped travelers. Well, normally Tamia would be yapping about where we should go, but she's being oddly quiet today. Hmm, not sure what I like that. Probably bad biscuits from the night before. Nah, there's no such thing as bad biscuit. He's a saltine. It's a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I say that we travel to talk to the witch. I do believe that was Tammy's original plan. Well, we don't actually know where the witch is. Well, was... did, we did see him by the bridge not too long ago. Which witch is which? Yes. There was, uh, um, yeah, there was talk that after they had set out and were supposed to have returned back that um, somebody, he didn't, he didn't mention specifically who, uh, had spotted the witch and a couple of her sons near the Lewin Bridge. There's also talk that she lives in the Berghoff Wood north of the Lewin Bridge on the, off the road to let it keep somewhere into the forest. It's non-specific. Well, maybe we should go to this bridge and see what we can find. Yes, the bridge does seem to be the starting place of everything. Hopefully it's not a bridge too far. <laughs> <laughs> or over troubled waters. Or 
Okay, but it's not a toll toll bridge. I don't believe we can afford it. (laughs) If you do find yourself in a a pinch, Ganaway is only about 10 miles away on the other side of the bridge. Um, It's a a smaller, much smaller town than this, but uh, there's a there's an inn there, and there are things smaller than this that you can call a town. That's what Lambert was thinking. Uh, He was just being an asshole saying it. Yeah. That anyway, is more of a hamlet than a town. Yeah, uh, you're an asshole whether you say it or not, so it's okay. You can at least f- you find civilization there, if you need to. Well, there is an offer. I've never been uh, one much for civilization, so that doesn't appeal to me. The more people they are, the more... Heartache there is. The more trouble they are. That's true, but sometimes there's help there if you need it. Population 200? What is that, a large farm? <laughs> Essentially, that's about what it is, yes. Ganaway's quite small. It's a pretty little village, though. It's the um, right along a small stream. It's an offshoot of the, of the Gan River. They're probably uh, yeah. that way. We shall have to visit it. They're probably bailing out their basements right now as we speak. The uh, the spring floods can be pretty harsh around there. Well, then I guess that settles it. Sounds like we're off to the bridge and perhaps further from there. Once we see what we can find, at the bridge and see where we're at. Yeah. All right. Uh, so is this something we can do the next day, or what is the t- turnaround? Oh, this is the morning. Yeah, this is fairly early in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. It won't be crazy if you guys set out at 8.30, 9 o'clock. Okay. I turned to Lambert's like, you get to wake Tammy up. She dislikes you the least. <laughs> uh, you are not- Lambert. What are you? You're confusing me. <laughs> I'll take on Grand Brig as a role play, but I, I can't do Tamiya. I'll just bot her. So T- Tamiya and Olivia, they're there. They're ready to go. What uh, about you, you brother? Why do I got to tell you? <laughs> just input all the innuendos you think when appropriate. We just need a, we just need a sound clip for going, what am I, your mother? We'll just play that <laughs> over and over again. Tammy, what do you think? What am I, your mother? Stop feeding that to Olivia. No. Okay. You guys need any uh, special items for preparation before you head out? I'm assuming uh, you'll be some, some food, some a couple of wines, water skins, that kind of thing. Maybe now, some firewood. The same day we had to do Comprehend Languages, or was that the night Yeah, before? this is the same morning. So you guys, if you want to wait the day, you can. Um, if we wait a day, it would help with resources, because salt can only prep two, two uh, discoveries, or two extracts at a time. These are okay. extracts. Infusions is what he can give to someone else. So mm-hmm. if we spend the day over at the... Uh... Well, I... The research area. Yeah, at the, at the uh, sundry store. What? Forty. I got it marked down too. Um, the Duke's attic. Yeah, the Duke's attic. That's one. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, what would we need to roll to go through the papers? Well, we need to talk to him first, probably, to make sure we can, and that there are papers. Yeah, definitely need to make sure that there are papers. There might not be. Well, there, there's always a church. If there's no papers there, the churches always have papers. Yeah, the church, the church is the church of all faiths. So there isn't really any um, dedicated religion. There's no dedicated cleric to it. Bunch and of it hasn't, heathens. There hasn't been for quite some time now, like almost Wait. 10 years. When Lambert says that, heathens, that's what they call us for not believing shit. Fuck those gods. It's also not not uncommon in the Flannis and small towns and stuff like that, not to have a whole lot of paper records. 
Yep. You know, you know, it's not like uh, people are coming around asking for your identification and stuff like oh, that. I know. It's just medieval times. If there's records, they're usually in a church. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, this year, major sure. drought. We pissed off God. Or perhaps a hermitage of some sort. This, oh, this year, we had lots of flooding. We pissed off God again. Many babies this year. Miracle. It's not because of all the horny farmers in the field. Nope, definitely not that reason. Even if it's all biased as hell. It's okay. because of my love potion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gotta get that out. Comment deleted from my head. <laughs> Bad comment came up. It's like, nope. All right, so Duke's Attic. Duke's Attic. So, uh, the building itself is pretty nice. It's uh, maybe the biggest home in all of Kuznir. It looks like it might have at one time, maybe belonged to a duke who had maybe ruled over the area and built himself a nice little getaway on the lake kind of thing. So you go there, it's a um, double gabled two and a half stories. There's a foundation of, uh, of wood, uh, of uh, stone. It looks like there's a basement as well. Um, the door is, is propped open. Uh, with a, a chair sitting up next to it, and it looks like they're air he's airing it out, and you can see the uh, the owner is a um, half elven man. It's probably about well, he looks in his twenties, but that's that's the half elven blood. If you know that he's Worley's brother, which you do, Worley's kind of middle aged. He looks a little older than Corso. Corso's uh, just starting to get a little bit of gray in his dark hair and uh, he's sweeping up and he looks over and he smiles i knew you'd be around how are you today confused your voice does not match your face ah uh, that's good my face is uh not much to look at i've been better my lumbago's bothering me today. that is a rare insight for humanoids <laughs> A lumbago, you say, huh? Did uh, you talk to Kirst about that? He has the same problem. <clears throat> He's always griping about his lumbago. Lower back. Think. Maybe he can do something about my piles, too. Ah, that's, that's beyond the scope of this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Corso's the name. Corso Westkey. Nice to meet you. I, I am Dendria, this is Old Salt, and this is Lambert. Well, other party this, members are keeping in. A bit of a discomfort. From the stories, I knew you all right away. I, uh, somewhat of a, a fan, if you will. Yeah, well, that bit about what happened in the bounty, that's an exaggeration. It never happened. Uh, oh, Papa Curse never did tell me. Did you, uh, did you make your expedition to the Barrier Peaks? Well, we went halfway before we found this frozen popsicle there, and we had to turn around. Interesting. Interesting story. Come on in. Come on in. Well, uh, do you have a, a lot of time, or should I should I order some booze from the inn? Or? Looking out. It's early. But it's I have early, nothing yeah. but time. Looking out. Like, I in. think we have some time <clears throat> due to someone. So what he does is... Um, He's got this gilded bird cage, and he's got this, uh, it's like a little budgie. And um, he kind of clicks a little something, and he holds out his hand, and the budgie flies away. And he says, uh, well, it'll be over in a bit. Come on in. Uh, very well. Uh, how big is the gilded cage? Uh, the gilded cage is probably about half a foot high, and the budgie itself is probably about two and a half inches tall big gilded cage then because otherwise Denver was going to step in it and go very well <laughs> no it's just a small and um get your head out of there you can swear that when he released it you heard a couple clicks the bird didn't um didn't make any tweet noises or anything but you could hear like a couple faint clicks 
Was it like a normal looking bird or was it metallic? The bird, yeah, the bird looked very normal. Looked, uh, it's, oh, movements, kind of... it's movements though were a little disjointed. Well, mm. I don't have engineering. Hmm. Strange. Oh well. No, we got just, plenty uh, of time. Masseuse. That's all I'm thinking. He <laughs> needs a proper masseuse. There seems to be uh, skulks lurking about, a uh, witch in the woods, uh, missing messengers. Aside from that, eh, let's chat for a while. Yeah. Yes, everything's good, yeah. I do. Is this... that you might have some records, just old historical records of the town. Oh, he should know better than that. No, no, there's no... Uh... No actual records. Um, there's a couple of old journals from uh, days before Carl. Do you have the Furondi Five's version of Stand By My Mule? I've never heard of that. Is that a... Is that a... Well, I'll hum a few bars for you. <laughs> I plug my ears, knowing the horror to come. <laughs> He's a little tone deaf. And Denver, yes. Denver's foot just starts tapping to the, to to your beat. You're tone deaf. He's tone. He's tone. He's <laughs> untunnel. <laughs> It sounds like music to my ears. You, I could listen to your singing all day, old salt. Uh, you always keep perfect time. That's why I like to keep you around, Denver. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, that uh, I it is one talent I do possess. I'm surprised they didn't make their way to our parts here. The Fury Down D5, they say. We'll have to, have to write that down. Uh, Lambert will ask, may I see the journals? Who knows? Sometimes... Um, unique insights and facts are recorded down that no people overlook. Sure. Yeah, Especially I'd... when they're being distracted by screeching music. It's mostly just uh, family records of the uh, Van Arthogs. But yeah. The, um, okay. I think I've got them the they are. Yeah, they're the, uh, the Dukes of Berghoff before. Before they got... Yeah, screwed over by the Scarlet people. Yeah, before their line got. So he comes down. He's got um, a stack of about um, about four leather bound journals, probably about seven or eight inches high by about four inches wide, just like almost like a chapbook kind of thing. And uh, he says. Carl's uncle and uh, father were uh, fastidious note keepers. Uh, they no, would. I, they I, am, would I am not, despite some people's accusations, a walking to the source. However, when we asked if there were, <laughs> where there were records, and you said no, <laughs> then you said there were journals that have records of the family. I, I think you might have been mistaken in your first no. <laughs> Why, yes, it well, is, Sor. Thanks for asking. <laughs> But they, but they would keep notes of their what they would purchase for the home for the summer. That's right, 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 right. Yeah, nothing. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of. It's not like a hall of records here or anything like that. Right, right. But you're free to look through it. He he hands them over to you guys. Okay. It's mostly just a lot of um, a lot of personal stuff. You know, it's really funny because we uh, like we in some of my in some of my uh, aunt's house type stuff. We found some some stuff that was just like uh, somebody like a long lost relative's uh, uh, journal or whatever. But it was just basically like weather entries and, you know, stuff you'd find on a farm, basically. Yeah. You're just kind of like pre 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 farmer's almanac recording yeah. everything about the soil and the farm, you know, the weather. Yeah. And, wow. That stuff was really common. It's like, that's why I thought it might be useful. <laughs> yeah. This stuff's a lot of, um, yeah, we went fishing the other day. We caught four, my, four, uh, so and so died, you know, just your first name, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, this is not dissimilar to that. I gotta be doing this, Denver. Get your ass over here and help. Old salt. I don't Go believe my ass can assist in this manner. 
Perhaps my eyes and ears and hands. Are you looking for anything in particular? I've read through all of those. So maybe I can point you in the right direction. Anything about a sentinel? Really bad times before? A sentinel? No. Can't say I've heard that before. Really bad times before. Yeah, it's like anything about evil locked away or anything like that. Something that would require a sentinel to watch over. Nothing like that, no. Absolutely not. No time of where a lot of people were dying at once? Or animals being slaughtered, as is happening now? Nope. Nope, it's been um, up until the wars. Um, in, well, I was, I was still young when... Uh, when Carl took over, but uh, it's been pretty pleasant here. Uh, there's no mention in those books of of anything like that. I mean, Jareth would sometimes complain that he wouldn't catch any fish, and he talked about um, the Meriden sometimes that he knew, which was um, it's like a plant, like humanoid. About the size of a halfling. Uh, on the other shore, sometimes they'll trade with the omen that have escaped their bonds and have set up farms and stuff like that. Um, nothing extremely interesting. I mean, between here and the uh, and the villa and the records of things that they'd need for the, the Ducal Castle and Hall Bridges, well. Doesn't really seem to be anything very exciting. They haven't used the old villa since since Carl's passing. Five, six old. years ago. Where's the old villa? Uh, the old villa was on the shores of the Lewin, where the Lewin uh, joined up with Leek Spenlow at an old fishing villa that they would go to as well. Any chances they'd have records there? I don't think that place has been inhabited since Carl's family was wiped from the face of the duchy. I mean, he was a bachelor, but there was... Uh, ah, there's always secret bastards somewhere. There, there was... A century or two, you'll find his long-lost route descendant. There was a sister. She also perished that night as well, as well as her husband. But I don't. I don't believe the villa has been inhabited since then. Probably in quite a state. Lambert has a flash in his eyes, and then it just disappears as he thinks there might be some good shit in there. Bandits have been here for a while. There ain't shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if he had to place it, his villa probably where pet. that little image is. Yeah, little probably. dot. Little dot. Yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, so you know any other place that might hold records? You, the, the best, path? the best source of records was Kair and the Sage. I mean, it wasn't uh, wasn't town records, day to day records, but he had um, a vast knowledge of history at his fingertips. I haven't spoken to him in probably a year or so. Um, he doesn't come to town very often. I can't imagine him having parted with any of his, his works. He would write write histories. That's what he would do out there. Like, I imagine he still has it all. I am not trained at this level, so I can't go through the documents. I know he had a, a vast knowledge of um, religion, the various religions in the Flanus. He also you had a. See a, me sneer when you say religion. He also had a deep, um, a deep historical background too. He would. Uh, when I did get him talking the one time, he did mention that uh, he was working on um, before the cataclysm, the uh, the Sul and the Buklunish empires before the twin cataclysms. I mean, my, my knowledge of those times are extremely sketchy. 
and just know that uh, one group did bow to the other, and so the other returned the favor, and two civilizations wiped out in less than a week. The fallout is what you see today. I don't think that has much to do with our skulk problem, though. Um, I know that Papa Chris was hoping that Karen would come to town and translate the words, but uh, the word is that, uh, well, I was, I was kind of watching from my porch. It seems like you had a pretty good handle on it. What did the words say? Words say town is fucked. Very much more precisely. Something about the forces of evil, evil gathering. Something about a sentinel. Let's say danger. Forces of evil gather. Come to me. Free the power to combat evil. Hasten or witness dire destruction. I await the coming of a bearer. I am the sentinel. Evil grows strong. Help me overcome danger. Well, it speaks of a bear and a sentinel. Thus, we were looking for those words in these journals. See? Yeah. Since it seems that this is potentially a, a, an elder evil that might be locked away, it seems. If you either promise... That, go, either that or it is a uh, Ghostbusters reference. I am not sure which. <laughs> <laughs> that was all a bit confusing. Can't tell if it's good or bad or a little of both. Well, that little sounds good. I just don't like prophecies. Because prophecies are usually mixed up with cults and fuck cults. Well, yeah, prophecies prop used to be Pop Papa Curse's uh, main trade. Yeah, and I always gave him shit for that. Uh, prophecies are rarely worth the paper they're written on. Did he show you the item? Eh? Did did, Kurt, up. did Papa Chris show you the item? Item? He, um, just before the coming of the new year, uh, or maybe even the morning of the coming of the new year, uh, one of the young boys that the town hires to sweep up and clean up the church, um, found something in the uh, in the shrine to Istus and of course brought it right to Papa Kirst and Papa Kirst has been fascinated by it ever since but uh, he showed it to me once I tried to I detect see. I tried to detect a Dwomer on it and I lost my sight for almost five minutes I wasn't sure I would ever see again Lambert has an idea he needs to verify. Unfortunately, he's not trained in the proper skill. That powerful, huh? Oh, well, this could be worth looking at. Uh, so, shit. Ha Lambert, okay, out of character, does anyone have the tra skill to linguistics yet? Uh, not yet. Shit. I don't either. That's next level. I was just thinking, check the handwriting of the thing and what we remember from pop curse handwriting because what happens if he's got his prophecy back and that's a fucking prophecy and he just doesn't know he's writing it he's just being a conduit mm. there's well, an interesting thought. that's properly paranoid of you i like it okay it let's go get tamia's Stupid note letter from Pop Curse, and she still has it. Let's yeah. compare it if it hasn't been washed. Yeah, she's, she's got it there. She'll show it to you. It doesn't look the same. What about your mother? <laughs> you got me digging through my notes. You remember you killed my mother. She's an evil bitch. That's why I had to call you mom for two years. I was underage. What about your mother? Two years you were. No, the handwriting is quite a bit different. 
we'll just play that yeah. clip over, and it's, over for it's, it's almost impossible to tell because this was written in animal blood on a wall. Uh, mm, this is animal but blood. Lambert is not believing Papa Curse is evil, just thinking he might be blacking out and writing stuff in animal blood. Oh, he's possessed by an elder god. Anything's possible. No, nah, he wouldn't be possessed and then saying, hey. Well, unless he's duly possessed between a good person, the sentinel, and the elder god. Mm, Lambert. Proper, has proper paranoia. Yeah. Yeah. We could all be possessed for what you know. He looks at Alt Salt with a sense motive. Don't look at nope. me. Look at him. Look at his face. No expression. <laughs> it's not natural. Stop looking There's at me like that. I have an expression. See? They stain. <laughs> Let Stop me turn doing it that. For you. <laughs> look, his eyebrows aren't right. Creeps me out. Um. So, yeah. Lambert's going to go, um, to wow. find Papa first. Stop it! <laughs> uh, and he's going to invite Denver and Old Salt to come with him. So we can see said item that he seriously did not comment about. Well, what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> Ask Tamir to make some good damn biscuits. What am I, your mother? If he gets his biscuits. Okay, so this didn't take too long. Um, Corso says, um, if you're ever in the market for anything unusual, I have a few items, but... Uh, sure we will be. It'll be very nice to, to be able to shop here once we have some money behind our belt. I have a... Um, once the, the merchants start moving more regularly through through the region in the spring and the summer, I have a connection in Hoka. I might be able to get things from, um, given the proper amount of time. What about course, your mother? Anything here is, most of it's junk, but between you and me, I have a couple things stashed. Okay, so we should find Papa Cursed at the All Faith Shrine. Actually, you'll find Papa Cursed. He's uh, he's collecting the while well, you guys were doing your thing. He was collecting the mule and the rations and the tent and stuff like that. And he was. Going he's around. right behind you. Oh, there he is. My friends. I would say you can't find it. I wouldn't be surprised, but my perception sucks. <laughs> um, hey, Cursed, we heard you found some unique item recently. Yes, I wrote it to me about it, and uh, I think I put it in the letter. I was going oh, to I was going to talk to you about it before we left, or before you left. I should really read that letter at some point. <laughs> okay. It says, found an item. Come visit. Can we see said item? Absolutely. Are you able to see I this keep item? A, I keep a hand on it around him. If I, I see move. two cards in the word loading. Aha. Let me go into. And the word spindle. It, it, is, a, the word spindle. it is a spindle. And a, even though it might have nothing to do with it, I'll roll it and you'll tell me if it has mm -hmm. anything to do of knowledge history. Let's look. You might have to start a um, an images channel in the Discord just to find yeah, I, that. Yeah, I did. It's actually uh, game graphics. Are you guys on there? Okay. Can you see that? I see cool Adam Burner account. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I see the. I see Cumtown. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, Cumtown's not part of the game, but. <laughs> <laughs> or if you get a chance to listen to that, it's a particularly funny little bit. <laughs> 
I visited a place they called Come Town once. <laughs> it's in the Pomard, I believe. We won't speak of that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, How about you never speak of it, old salt? <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm still washing my hands after that one. I am never touching you again. If you're bleeding out, you're dead. Well, you're never touching me to begin with. What yeah, am I, so your mother? Uh, it's just a, a four inch long wooden mm. spindle. And it's got. Um, I almost look like a wand all wrapped up like that. A, um, some, some thread, but in those thread. There are three golden threads that are particularly hard to see. I know who the ancient evil is. It looks like... Not it, say the name of Rumpelstiltskin. It looks like uh, the symbol of Istis. Very much like her holy symbol. So... He says... Um, he says, um, I was going to wait until just before you left and then give this to you. I don't want anyone knowing that you have it while you're out on the road. Paranoid much, Papa Cursed? It's quite powerful, whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is. I believe, having slept on it, that when I first crafted the note to Tamiya, um, it came to me that morning, this spindle, and that note has brought you to here. So I believe that you are meant to have this. I believe that is this is the fate of Isis. Her will. We are to be, if no other word is to be had, it's bearer. I don't like being a bearer because it's usually it's bearer of bad news. I don't want bad news. I want good news. Yes, the sentinel awaits the bearer. Well, I'm not bearing anything. You look more like a bear than me with all that hair everywhere. I do believe we need a mother to be the bear. There is hair. There <laughs> oh, is hair. Into a bear. There Wait is. Off. There is hair everywhere. Believe me. Yeah. 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 He scratches behind himself. <laughs> <laughs> what about your mother? How you doing, buddy? What, you're trying to impersonate me? No, we've been bodying you. have been doing you. all day. <laughs> we've been so bodying you. That's your sound clip. What am I, your mother? <laughs> what am I, uh, your mother? There we go. Uh, also, quiet idle undead user didn't work. What's the thing? Oh, uh, uh, didn't work. Uh, the actual... Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. I have to... one out now. Okay. Uh, 2436 dot 137. Hold on, hold on. 2436. Or is it 24 dot 36? I can't tell with my writing on this two cocktail. Four dot three six. Okay, dot yeah. 137 dot 249. 137. Two Hopefully that <laughs> works. What's the last three? 249. Uh, Two four three six one three seven two four nine. Nope. All right, we'll have I feel like to. I'm a number here. It should be. Wait, okay, so. Is it one two four? Because they should start with three numbers if I remember right. Yeah. I can one, remember. Two, four. Give me a second. I can open a second instance of Fantasy Grounds. And look it up because I have it on it. Be right back. I might have to shut the room down and everyone come back in. Probably. Cause... Seems to be the only thing that's working. Come on. Well, it's a good time to fill me in on what's going on. Uh, yeah, we haven't done that much. We woke up. We just went over how we went through the thing. We went to a place called the Duke's Attic, which is their laundry shop. Found out that Pop Curse had an icon, a little spindle that we just now getting from him. 
that he believes is the reason we're here. And I believe he's going unconscious and writing things in blood because he does that fantasy, of that um prophecy shit. We're used to. I think he might be back at it, even if he doesn't know it. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot to take in. Yeah, but I'm just being paranoid, probably. I mean, just like the fact. Oh, it's not cement. It's just a, it's a theory. Yes, that is yeah. Lambert's theory. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that's an important detail here because I really was just like, like that went down. Damn. I was like, because we were Shit. talking about this, and it's like, blah, 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 prophecy. And that used to be on um, Pop Cursing. I'm like, wait a minute. That evil, that writing sounds like a prophecy style shit. Oh, uh, uh oh. It's Pop Curse. Doing that shit, and so I can't find it. You suck. Okay, let me try it. That was Lambert's Pop Curse, You're paranoid of everybody. So am I. Not a bad I'm not idea. Paranoid actually. of everybody, just everybody who's worth being paranoid about. Hmm, I see what the you guy did who brought there. Us here. And you. And you better be. <laughs> True. All right, let's put uh, let's put this on pause for for five. Uh, we'll all back out. I'll restart everything. Okay. Let we'll me all... exit. Yeah. Let everybody Don't exit. Kick us out. Let us exit. Okay, I'm out. Okay, so that is the IP. I just copied it real fast.